It was the best script I've ever read. That's why I wanted to do the project. It really is. It's like really great. I'm playing Susan Orlean, who's a celebrated writer for The New Yorker, still working there. Um, and uh, she has written a number of wonderful books. Among them was The Orchid Thief and uh, Charlie Kaufman, who wrote Being John Malkovich, was contracted to adapt that into a, a film. And this is the story of him adapting her book. What I noticed about him was that he had incredible attention to detail, to the minutest um, nuance of uh, a line reading, for instance, really, really acute hearing to the subtleties of uh, how, you know, what you mean can be changed by how you convey what you say and how you convey it. And uh, that I wasn't really prepared for. I thought that because he's so young and unschooled or something that you know, he's going to wing it, he'd have great freedom, but this sort of, you know, really meticulous um, attention was th thrilling. And for an actor, it's really thrilling to know somebody's hearing what you're doing in its, you know, s sort of subtlest degree. And uh, he picked up on that. And believe me, I've worked with a lot of really great directors who are not as attuned. So that was a thrill. He's a great director. I said to Spike, you know, you gotta, you gotta really put a card on the beginning of this movie and tell everybody to shut up because from the minute it starts and Nick Cage's interior thoughts, and he's just kind of whispering them over the opening credits, they're fantastic. And people will be laughing, I said to him, and they won't hear the next thing that he says, you know. So can't you put in like little, pauses or something but it doesn't it just the thing starts and it just goes so. I had to see it a couple times to get I mean I haven't gotten all that I want to get from it you know it's just it's very rich it's very dense um, uh, his movies throw a lot at you and um, that's why they're fun you you engage you know so I don't know yeah it's right up my alley I loved it loved watching it it's a big conflict, you know, that's a, a, at the bottom of the film, of how you make the choices in your life, how you decide about things, from what you write to who you sleep with to, uh, you know, everything. I've, I've spent my entire career avoiding the, the three <laughs> and all of the movies of its ilk. And here I am in it. It's pretty funny. But that's also what drew me to the material because it's sort of about that. Can you make a movie about a flower? Or, can, or are you doomed to make a movie about sex, drugs, and violence?